If you like coaching with me in Nottingham or online, all the information is in the bio. And please like, share and subscribe, which is around there somewhere. How you doing all right? So it's been quite a busy week, winning snooker tournaments. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about how you play more fluently. So a big mistake I see people do when they're trying to get, get on with it. Uh, they walk around the table quicker, they queue a bit quicker, hit it not when they're not quite ready, which obviously doesn't work. The way you do it is to clear your mind. You want less stuff in your brain. You've got to be focused on the, a few little things, and that's aiming. Now, obviously, I bang that jump all the time. There's a lot of stuff out there online, all these coaches telling, filling people's minds with absolute nonsense, right? just full of stuff and they've got a catalogue of stuff, checklist to think about and in the end, well, just forget to aim. Although recently uh, there has been uh, a little bit of a change. One, one channel in particular is starting to talk about helping side and a feel, uh, which is great. Uh, and it means that they're learning and I support them on that journey. It does undermine a lot of what's been said previously on the channel, but then, you know, make of that what you will. So. What I'm gonna do is give you two examples of what, it might, things might ring a bell, what all this stuff in your mind can do to you as a player. And um, yeah, see what you think. Right then, so, quite a lot to remember, I can't quite remember what he was saying. Um, I should have made some notes really. Right, let's have a go. So what did he say? First was, I have to, that's right, my pouch on my belt buckle has to be in line. Stroke my cue because that's going to make me feel more relaxed. And then right feet. So foot there. Foot there. I mean, it must be right because he was drawing on the floor. And then nobody would do that if it weren't right. That would be mad. Right, what else did he say? He, that's right. Slide into the shot. Get my shoulders in a line with my elbow. It's quite uncomfortable. But, I mean, it must be right. It's on the internet. Right, and what else? I've got, that's right, I've got to be relaxed. That's right, let's get relaxed. Still uncomfortable, but what else? Then my grip, that's right, my grip. I have to have like a gap and then get comfortable again. I can't see it, but I've not had a clue what's going off here. Right, three feathers, he said, because three feathers is magic. Right, here we go. One, two, three. Pull back, wait, pause. Did I leave the iron on? Right, back to it. I've got to hit the ball really slow now. Don't forget to elbow drop because that's what Ronnie O'Sullivan does. Oh, I've missed it. Forgot to aim. Right, there's my line. Follow it in. Get to the right part of the cue ball. Am I there? Yep. Check my line, little adjustment, back to the cue ball, line again, and put a nice strike on it. So there you go. Uh, I've had a bit of fun with it, obviously, uh, but you can see that if you're having to go down all this stuff that you've seen, you can't play the game. I mean, and more importantly, it's actually not enjoyable. Um, you know, when you lose yourself in the game on the green bit, it's actually a good game to play. It's, you know, it sort of grips you. But um, like I say, it's just impossible to play with all this stuff. Now, even professionals, right, they do this to get a bit ripped up in technique or, or the pressure gets to them and that distracts them from what you need to be thinking about. Um, but if you look at the pro game, when it comes to cue actions, they're all different. But what you've got to do is get something you can repeat. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, and then when you can repeat it, you just play. The, the cue action is a feeling in the background over here somewhere. So look, think about my cue action. I know what a good it feels like. And I only ever really notice it when I hit one bad because it feels a bit strange. But I, to do that, you've got to practice, obviously, and find out what you feel more comfortable doing. But that's it. That's really it. Ultimately, you've got to hit the cue ball at a certain spot to send it on its way. And all your attention, or 99% of it, should be on that. Even examples of some of these people preaching it that set up in a really orthodox way, like you'd see a textbook. They set up perfectly, but 
you'll see pros that don't set up like that and they're significantly better. So if you look at it like that, you don't take my word for it, you can see that there's these real world examples there of it don't make sense, you don't have to play like that. So I know I'm like a dog with a bone with it, but I know it's right. So please comment below uh, if you have any questions or whether you disagree with me or agree with me, whatever. Uh, and like I say, focus on the game and you'll definitely play better. And I'll see you soon.